Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Find out how you can get two months of free unlimited online learning by clicking the link in the description below. Hey, what's going on everyone? Greg here and WWDC is just a few days away now. Apple's developer conference will be here on Monday, so we don't have to wait too much longer to see everything that we've been speculating about, all the rumors out there, if Apple is going to have a new Mac Pro, if Apple is going to have a new cinema display, or what features we can expect for iOS 13, watchOS 6, and macOS 10.15. Now the Worldwide Developers Conference, as its name would suggest, is a conference for developers, so it usually heavily focuses on software, and there's no guarantee that we will see any new hardware from Apple. However, although I do love software, I am usually looking forward to those hardware announcements, so I thought we'd start off this video on what sort of hardware announcements we can expect, if any, at WWDC. And I think the most prominent or likely hardware that we will see at the show is the new Mac Pro. Apple hasn't updated the Mac Pro since 2013, and two years ago they brought in a bunch of journalists to kind of go over what went wrong with the 2013 Mac Pro. They said there was a lot of problems with the thermal constraints and they thought that Pro computers were going towards a two GPU kind of system rather than the big beefy graphics cards we're seeing in today's systems. Long story short, the Mac Pro is long overdue for an update and there are a lot of pros in the community really looking forward to seeing what Apple shows off and what capabilities this new Mac Pro will have. This is the show to show off that Mac Pro, so I really think Apple will go for it. I think they'll give us a sneak preview of what we can expect for the new Mac Pro. Now, I don't think that Monday you're going to be able to order the Mac Pro. I think they're going to give you a preview much like they did with the last Mac Pro and the iMac Pro, and then orders will start later this year, probably all the way to the end of this year, so get your checkbooks ready for December. As for what we can expect out of this new Mac Pro, well, I honestly don't know. There haven't been too many reliable leaks or rumors regarding what type of device we will see with the new Mac Pro. Some have speculated that it will be a modular design, that you'll be able to stack different components on top of each other, and that would be a new way to make a desktop computer. Others have said that maybe Apple will just be going for a standard tower build. But no matter what design we go with, we really don't know what the final design of this product is going to look like, or what type of processing power, what type of graphics power, what type of unique features this machine will have that will really set it apart from the other Apple machines out there and really make it a machine dedicated for pro use. And it really has me excited because when you go into a conference not knowing exactly what to expect, not knowing what all the leaks are, your mind starts to race about all the different possibilities of what this Mac Pro will look like, what sort of specifications it will have, Everything's just racing through my head and I'm really excited to see this product. So hopefully come Monday, we will have a new Mac Pro to talk about. Another product that Apple will probably be announcing on Monday to go along with that Mac Pro is a new Apple Pro display. Apple kind of got out of the display business when they released the 2016 MacBook Pro. They released it with the monitor that's actually behind me, the LG Ultrafine 5K and then the LG Ultrafine 4K monitors. And these monitors work really well. They're basically an Apple panel without the Apple branding, but if we're being honest, they aren't the sharpest looking monitors, especially when you compare them to Apple's old monitors. They had a really nice design to go along with it, and tons of people, including myself, were upset that Apple said they were getting out of the display business. Well, fear not, because when Apple said they were working on a new Mac Pro, they also said that they were working on a Pro display to go along with it. And I think we are going to see it, because recently, Apple discontinued the LG Ultrafine 5K and 4K monitors from their store and Apple not offering a big 5k 27 inch monitor when so much of their marketing relies on pros being able to use 5k displays it really makes me feel like come Monday we are going to see a new Apple Pro display as for the Pro display itself it is rumored to be using a mini LED technology the resolution for the display is rumored to be in 6k and that's also because this Apple display is going to be a 32 inch display the monitor is also said to have a bunch of built-in presets in terms of how you calibrate the color or calibrate the display for a professional environment. And the rumor is that there will be an iOS app to go along with it. And that is 
is how you will kind of configure this display. The only thing we really can't nail down is if this will be an ultra wide monitor. Now, most rumors are pointing to yes, that Apple will release an ultra wide display. I've heard a rumor that the display will kind of have like these fins on the end. And then when Apple refreshes the iMac, you'll be able to line those up to kind of get one continuous long monitor. Again, that's just a rumor. Not sure if that's going to happen. But again, if Apple is going to be releasing that pro desktop on Monday, which I think they will, they're going to have to show off that new pro display to go along with it. Now, as I mentioned with the Mac Pro, maybe you won't be able to order this display day one, but maybe you will be able to considering Apple just released some new MacBook Pros and they kind of yank that 27 inch LG Ultrafine 5K. So you don't really need a Mac Pro to go along with that display. You just need a compatible Mac. And if Apple's laptops can drive that Pro display, then maybe we'll see that appear first before the rumored Mac Pro. Speaking of other Apple computers, another rumor was that Apple was working on a 16.5 inch MacBook Pro complete with a redesigned keyboard. Now, even though this MacBook Pro is going to have a 16.5 inch display, it's going to be around the same footprint as the current 15 inch MacBook Pro. And the way that they're going to get that 16.5 inch display is much like with the iPhone 10 and the new iPad Pros, they are moving over to a more bezel-less design. So I'm guessing we can expect a very similar design language to the iPad Pro with its rounded corners. The keyboard in this machine is rumored to be a lot like the Magic Keyboard 2, so still not a ton of travel, but it's still using scissor switches. And from what we know, the iMac keyboard design is a lot more reliable than the current butterfly generations. Apple is said to still be keeping the touch bar on this keyboard, however, they will add an escape key. So currently on the MacBook Pro with the touch bar, there is no physical escape key. That's where the touch bar goes. This would be another thing that pros would welcome. And I was honestly thinking we were going to see it at the Worldwide Developers Conference this year. However, I think that's a lot less likely now because Apple just last week refreshed the 2018 MacBook Pros to the 2019 MacBook Pros. Now, when this 16.5 inch Apple laptop does come out, I think it will be its own category catered more towards the pro market, much like the iMac Pro is a separate product from the iMac. It didn't replace it. I also think that this 16.5 inch laptop, at least for the first couple of years, will be a way more expensive laptop and will definitely be aimed at the pro market. I just don't know what they'll call it, MacBook Pro Pro. Whatever they're gonna end up calling it or however they end up marketing or spinning it, it will not replace that 15 inch in the lineup. I think it's going to be way, way expensive when it comes out, much like when the first Retina 15 inch MacBook Pro came out, it was super, super expensive. With that being said, Apple could potentially release that laptop or again, preview it at WWDC. However, I'm gonna lean towards no on this one because I feel like if they released those 2019 MacBook Pros with the eight cores and then you as a professional went out and bought one, for them to go ahead and announce a laptop literally a week later, that would kind of be a stab in the back to the customers that just purchased the 2019 MacBook Pros without seeing what other advanced options Apple had in store. So I'm gonna say that the laptop, the 16.5 inch MacBook Pro, will not be at WWDC this year. Now, if Apple does release a new Mac Pro, you're going to need to take full advantage of that system. And to do this, you can check out our sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare offers incredible classes from professionals on a host of topics, including how to harness the feature of pro applications. So whether you're getting into video editing, photo editing, or even learning how to code iOS apps so you can be at the next Worldwide Developers Conference, Skillshare is where you go to learn those applications. As for me, if I'm going to be purchasing any of these new pro machines, I have to make sure that my skills are really honed and really up to the task. So I will be planning to use Skillshare to learn even more about video editing and Final Cut Pro 10. And Skillshare offers a wide array of courses. So whether you're just starting out or you want to learn more advanced skills, Skillshare is the place to learn.
If you're interested in Skillshare and want to learn more, check out the link in the description for a free two-month trial on Skillshare. That's two months of unlimited learning for nothing. Not even a community college would give you that. And thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now, as for other hardware, I don't think we can expect to see anything else really. I don't think there's going to be that rumored 10.2 inch iPad. It really doesn't make sense for a developer's conference. Apple also released the new iPod Touch this week, so that rules that out. And I don't think we will be seeing anything like a new iPhone SE. But anyway, that's just what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What hardware announcement are you excited for WWDC? Do you even think that we will see any hardware at the show? Or do you think that we'll only see updates for iOS 13, Mac OS 10.15, and Watch OS 6? If you liked the video, make sure you give me a like. If you wanna see more, including if I was wrong on Monday, make sure you subscribe. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.